What's up, internet? Coming to you from Adam's Track River Camp. Nice place to stay a night. Uh, today's the start of, what is it, day six? Day six. Yeah. yeah. Day six. Uh, so we just want to kind of talk about like what's going good, what's going bad, um, some things that we might have changed. Uh, so I guess we'll just like start with our gear stuff that we got here on the canoe. Uh, so this, this is our setup right here. I'm up in the front. I got my my little seat from Amazon that I showed in that that one video. Uh, thing's been awesome, definitely like game changer for comfort. Given how long we're out here, you know, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hour days, uh, it's just great to have the back support. And you know that aluminum seat's not very comfortable on your butt, so it's nice. Brandon here. <laughs> Yeah, he, he didn't he didn't buy a seat. So, Brandon, you want to show him what you got going on? That's that's my sit pad that I gave to him. Look at that. Good comfort in, in your, your backrest right the there. Back is... It's just his dry bag. <laughs> so he's, he's making it work, but um, yeah, definitely would highly recommend that. Right? You you would want one of those if you. Yeah, I yeah. would, but. I, but it doesn't work. I haven't had the sore butt. Yeah. So, um, cooler's been working good. It's been so cold that we haven't bothered filling it with ice, um, but it has been waterproof. So, it, uh, check that off the list because the other coolers we brought uh, just were not great. I mean, they were plastic, so they were waterproof, but like the lids weren't very secure, so having the zippered lid. Was uh, it's just nice what to have all your stuff food, more David? secure. What about the food? Ew. Yeah, so our food bin, Brand, you want to open up our food bin? Yeah. So we borrowed this big barrel from a friend, and it is awesome. Uh, just kind of like a giant bear can, which like yeah, so obviously we don't have bears here. Away. Uh, oh yeah. Peak. Best. This is the we bought. We bought a bunch of the. I don't know. Hold up! Hold up! This one here. I can't get this shit open. These, the backpacker's pantry. Like, the pad tie is okay. But the backpacker's pantry, we bought a ton of them, and they were just the worst. So, that's why, if you see one of my shorts, was that last night? Mm -hmm. Night, day four night, our friend brought us a whole resupply of, and Chick -fil -A. of that chicken pesto stuff and Chick-fil-A. Yeah, because it was just... Bro, backpackers pants was garbage, but these ones are really good. The peak, so that was a uh, that was the thing we learned. But um, yeah, I mean, dry bags are working good. Seats. That's pretty much it. Just wanted to give a little update, and uh, we're on our way to to Branford today. So Branford's about seven ish, mm -hmm. maybe eight miles. Not exactly sure. I don't have the mileage planned out at all. We're just kind of paddling until we get to where we're going, um, which should be about seven or eight miles. And there's a McDonald's, a pizza, pizza place, a Hardee's, a Family Ooh. Dollar. So nice we're gonna topic. we're gonna hang out there for quite a bit today, and uh, eat a lot of food because we have been eating a ton of food. That's the other thing. Like we bought this whole whole giant barrel for two people for nine days, and we just blew through it. Um, so we've resupplied he said from our friend once already um so definitely a lot more food than expected but other than that it's, it's going great so peace see you in a couple days and so we just wanted to show you the river camp cabins so at pretty much all the river camps along the way. I think there's a couple that might not, but they have these these handy little cabins here that are all screened in. They even have screen under the floorboards so that no bugs can get in. Um, so, you know, this is Florida, so mosquitoes get pretty bad here certain times of the year. So, you know, let me just pop in the wide angle. So, yeah, they're really nice. Got quite a few of them here. And I think they're totally free to stay in. Um, sometimes you just have to reserve. Donations. Yeah, and they do have a donation box. Um, but what's nice, they got these big heavy duty hooks put in. 
And they, they are kind of inconsistent, you know, because we're hammocking. So you'd use these hooks for your, your hammocks. But sometimes they put them like really low and then other times they have them high. But, but it, it, it can be, yeah, last, last night he had to put it around that post up there. Um, because the, the hooks here were just too low. It would have been touching the ground. But other than that, I mean, it's just awesome that we have these, these nice fully enclosed shelters to stay in if you need. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show that. So they also got these bathrooms. That one's got a ramp and a little wash station out there. Got electricity, shower, toilet. That's the brown because it's the Swanee River water. So it's just got the tannins in it. That was kind of funny. Um, yeah, hot water is really hot. Electricity, obviously, plugs. And there is electricity in the cabins too. Um, yeah, really nice to have this. So they're at most of the campsites too. Some of them don't have them, but this one's got it. So that was nice. On the water and uh, remembered one last thing I wanted to mention that we had to change was sunglasses. Neither of us brought sunglasses and we very quickly figured out that, that was very stupid. Um, I mean, obviously year round the sun exists, but specifically right now, cause it's winter and we're headed south. The sun's gonna be lower in the horizon, as you can see. And it's literally just, just goes in our eyes across the sky the entire day. So um, at Convict Springs, they have a whole shop and we were able to pick up some sunglasses for like three bucks a piece. And pretty they're pretty. just absolute lifesaver. Pretty pretty. So yeah, it's pretty much the last thing with our update. So see you later.